this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog! Now this time we're going to be looking into the third episode of the third season of The Muppet Show, which features Roy Clark. Now, for those of you who are not too familiar with Roy Clark, he is actually one of the most well-known and biggest names in country music, with a large discography and uh, some very popular songs, including Yesterday When I Was Young. Uh, he is actually a very multi-talented musician, capable of playing many different instrument instruments, and also he was known to be the host of a variety show called uh, Hee Haw, which actually ran for a very long time, like, it actually had a really good run from 1969 all the way up to 1992, so it definitely was strong, and uh, it definitely had a great viewership. So, even nowadays, uh, Roy Clark is also inducted into uh, the Country Music Hall of Fame, so at least in terms of country music, he definitely is a massive star. So going into the episode that he appeared in on The Muppet Show, uh, surprisingly enough, it actually come out in amazingly. This is actually a fantastic episode. Now the thing is with the side plot is that Kermit and is mostly like a comedic duo bit with Kermit and Fozzie. Like that's mostly the episode where like Fozzie kind of took it literally where Kermit actually said that the show is going out out into the country because Roy Clark is coming and Fozzie kind of took it like uh, a bit literal in a sense where he actually got a lot of the stage hand uh, like a lot of the stage hands uh, they actually went out to the country and believed Fozzie so uh, with all that said now it's up to Fozzie to take care of everything in the show he has to be pretty much all the stage hands at once and if things aren't uh, if like you know, if, 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 it, if it isn't bad enough for Fozzie, also, he has to deal with a fire on stage. Uh, no, not on stage, but in, in the back, basically. So, like, he wants to make sure that everything is fine with Kermit, but, like, he doesn't want to make sure... Like, he has to make sure that he Kermit doesn't know about the fire backstage, since he has to be... He has to take on this entire responsibility of doing all the stage hand work from, uh, the carpentry taking care of everything and also uh, like opening and closing the curtains all the time so it definitely was a lot of fun and uh, like this is just another great example of the like I said before the comedic duo of Fozzie Bear and Kermit how well that they can work together where Fozzie is mostly the funny man or just the one that is in the sticky situation and then you also got Kermit as the straight man and you can definitely tell there is such great chemistry in there uh, including all the wacky situations that's happening all around them so it definitely is a lot of fun to watch just in the backstage portion but uh, funny enough even what's on stage that is actually highly entertaining as well uh, there are many bits in there that honestly I just really had a good laugh with uh, especially with the Pigs in Space, I have to say, out of all the Pigs in Space bits, uh, this one is actually my personal favorite, where it's basically the, uh, like, they call it the electric toaster bit, where, um, like, th they had a bit of a malfunction, but, uh, Strange Pork actually did fix it, and rewired it, like, connecting it in the same way with the electric toaster, so what happened is that, uh, all the Swine Trek crew, they would just like suddenly, they would just go down and then suddenly reappear, like just pop back up, but then suddenly like other characters would pop up. It's actually really creative, it's a lot of fun, and it does give you some good laughs. Uh, this is on top of other stuff like the Swedish Chef, where uh, he's just preparing like this just large batch of dough. And um, that one is another really funny bit that you gotta check out. Uh, on top of that, uh, there is another one that, uh, like, that's not out, that's not featuring Roy Clark or, like, what's going on backstage, where, like, this is actually related to the, the backstage story where there's a fire going on and Fozzie called for the fire department and a bunch of firemen came in, but they're not there to, like, solve the problem with the fire, they're actually just there to do a singing bit where they set, uh, sing the song, I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire. And while that is happening at the same time, Fozzie has to take care of the entire 
uh, fire, like the fire situation where he has to go like, like from one part of the stage to another. It's like, like, and at the same time, he's just looking on the side. It's like I'm doing your freaking job, guys. It's honestly really a lot of fun. But I would have to say, out of all of them, the one that doesn't necessarily work or the one that is the least funny, I would have to say, is, of course, they brought back at the dance. And considering that they did bring in Roy Clark, uh, they actually had it in an entire barn theme. Like, basically, uh, the whole theme is more country-oriented, and it's everybody just saying bad uh, barn jokes, and that's pretty much it. But other than that, all the other stuff where it was absolutely fantastic. But then you also have Roy Clark, and this is one of those episodes that, honestly, they actually very prominently use their special guest star very well. So much so that, um, like, we not only does he actually appear frequently, but also we see a wide variety of Roy Clark's talents. Uh, the first, uh, like, the first act that he appears in, he actually does, uh, Rocky Top, where he actually plays several different instruments from an electric guitar, I think he played a mandolin, he played the banjo, and he played the trumpet. He played all, like, probably five instruments in that one bit, and that was actually highly impressive. And then afterwards, uh, he actually sang one of his most popular songs, Yesterday When I Was Young. And that was the moment where the show decided to take a little break from all the wackiness with the fire backstage with uh, Fozzie and Kermit. So that was actually a really nice moment. And then, like, you got a more uplifting song that Roy Clark would sing with uh, Sally Was a Good Old Girl. And that was another, like, that was more of another one that is actually really really fun it's a lot more upbeat and you know it makes for a nice finale so uh like as, like all the elements with roy clark and uh, on top of a few other appearances in the show like the talk spot with kermit um it really just shows a lot of the talents of roy clark in fact like this is a, a like th like for anybody who is a roy clark fan they would be highly satisfied with roy clark because they prominently used him well in this episode, and it's one of the better examples of how The Muppet Show would integrate special guest stars, like prominently displaying their talents, presenting who they are, so um, like fans of, like pretty much fans of the special guest star would like get their satisfying fill of him, and non-fans would actually get a good introduction of who he is. And from what I see, someone who hasn't really heard of Roy Clark, I could definitely tell he is a highly, and I really mean highly talented man. So I would say overall, this is a very successful episode in terms of The Muppet Show. Like this is the one that really works out very, very well. Uh, not only they have a great special guest star that prominently displays his ta his talents, but also it's uh, highly hilarious and highly entertaining just overall, especially with the comedic bits with Fozzie and Kermit and all the crazy shenanigans that's just going on backstage. In fact, I would actually say that this is one of the best episodes that would feature Fozzie and Kermit together. It's actually a lot of fun and highly entertaining and this is definitely probably one of those standout episodes of this season. This is definitely one that I would highly recommend that you go check it out and probably one that I would recommend like to, to really get a good understanding of what The Muppet Show is because this is definitely uh, like it definitely does feel like they're on top of their game with this one. It's actually a lot of fun um, really enjoyable, really hilarious, and I just had a blast the whole way through with this episode. So, uh, definitely, overall, a great episode. So that is pretty much it with this episode of the Muppet Vlog, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see if we're going to get more episodes that are as funny and entertaining as the episode with Roy Clark, but we will know until then, so until next time, see you later, dudes!